Assalamualaikum to Madam Liana and my beloved classmates. My name is Muhammad Ahmad Aidi bin Abdul Rahman from AM 1105C. The metric number 2020-950721 and I will explain about introduction. In Malaysia, every developed country, there will be ministries that works under the government. Each ministry has their own duties and role different from one ministry to the other as it is very crucial and helpful in the administration in the country. For each ministry, they have given power and authority to minister their own ministry, having no interruption from other ministries, especially in, de in decision making. One of the ministries is the Ministry of Entrepreneurship, Development and Cooperative, MIDAC. The Ministry of Entrepreneurship, Development and Cooperative, MIDAC, has a role to plan, coordinate, implement and monitor entrepreneurial development programs that include activities such as formulate policies and formulate strategies and entrepreneurship development program. <coughs> MIDEX aims is to expand and accelerate Bumiputra involvement in the mainstream of the country's economic activities and help achieve the target of 30% equity ownership by 2020. The budget allocated to our ministry is RM40 billion and an an additional RM one hundred and thirty million funds for PMKS entrepreneurs, an additional RM one hundred million for finance financing scheme pembiayaan informal and micro spim under the Tabung Ekonomi Kumpulan Usaha Niaga Tekun. Also allocate in order to help the remaining entrepreneurs, Midak hopes that the allocation provided by the government will open up opportunities for more people who want to venture into business. Assalamualaikum. My name is Atarunisha Minti Mama Amin. My metric number is 2020-990-367 and I'm going to talk about goals number one, program one and strategy number two. The first goal is to encourage women to join business and uh, make profit from it. A woman who works in business, owns her own firm, or has created or, or co-founded a corporation typically in the highest or most senior position, is referred to a businesswoman. After that, women are becoming major drivers of economic growth around the world. The achievement of gender diversity in organization is crucial to enhancing commercial results. After that, women are still uh, underrepresented in business, especially that uh, the highest levels of management. Women are less uh, likely than men to hold high management roles or sit on corporate boards. The first program is Program Pemerkasaan Usahawan Wanita, uh, or another name is PUAN. Men Mentorship programs, especially in the aspect of packaging and labeling, marketing strategies uh, as well as technical guidance on business are also provided, which has uh, benefit more than 2,000 women entrepreneurship through uh, the Micro Entrepreneurship Development Program or BISME. <coughs> In addition, clearly with its focus uh, towards the empowerment of women enter entrepreneurs, MEDAC welcomes the support and cooperation of various parties where the roles of uh, each ministry, agency, cooperative and NGO are complement complementary with the same goals and objectives. <coughs> uh, this platform is seen to create a more uh, unified synergy where all parties agree to find the best approach to ensure that the initiative or programs plan can run smoothly with a positive impact on the target group, namely women entrepreneurship. In this case, uh, small informal, informal vendors are not uh, marginalized because they are growing more than uh, and especially in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic where more people are plugging into small businesses uh, and alternative to generating income. 
the benefit of this program is women will know how to use the packaging machines and they will uh, gain knowledge and get to know how to make a better level a better label of their product Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Muhammad Makim bin M Sani and my student number is 2020950291 and i will briefly explain about uh, the next program by medec in order to better enhance women entrepreneurs so the next program is called women entrepreneur this program which was initially tested in 2013 was reintroduced in 2017 with a focus on helping female entrepreneurs launch and expand their internet businesses the objective of this program is to make sure that female business owners are kept up to date on the crucial mega trends and shifting business environments that are fundamentally altering industries all over the world so this program is conducted online via zoom meeting so that participants can easily join the program without have to go out and waste time some of the benefits of the programs are sponsorship for program fee which means every woman entrepreneur can join download presentation slide deck so that they can refer to it even after the program and replay or download program recordings in addition the women entrepreneur enables women entrepreneurs to learn how to grow an e-commerce business without uh, high overheads how to start an online business with easy to implement strategies and how to enhance and improve business and marketing skills by using the latest technology So that's all from me and I'll pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum to Madam Zainab. My name is Nabila Binti Nasham and my student ID is 2020955293 and I will continue to present um about the goals number 2. Okay, goals number 2 is making entrepreneurs to join halal food industries. The halal industry is one of the most promising and quickly expanding areas in the world including Malaysia. With the worldwide halal sector market value at over US$3.2 trillion and the Muslim population predicted to grow from $1.8 billion in 2018 to $2.2 billion in 2020. The Ministry of Entrepreneurship Development and Cooperative NEDEC has implemented a program run in conjunction with SME Corporation to assist and encourage a halal food business. For the more public people especially from the B40 group are more encouraged to venture into this field. In this way, perusahaan kecil dan sederhana PKS also are easier to continue their business. Datuk Seri Ismail Sabri Yaakob has contributed an additional 100 million under Tabung Ekonomi Kumpulan Usaha Niaga Tekun for the financing of skim pembiayaan informal dan micro SPIM and the additional around 30 million under pembangunan SME Cooperation. This is a program that assists informal and micro entrepreneurs in recovering and restarting companies. Strategy number two, if to encourage public to start business. Second strategy which uh, attempts to encourage the public to start a business. Become more confused. In 2019, the globe has been stunned. Uh, by the COVID-19 pandemic, as a result, the country's economy has become unstable, and many people have lost their employment as well as their source of income for survival as a result of the closure of various sectors. In July 2020, when the country economic sector returned to normal operation, the government began to encourage people to get involved in business to help the country revive the country economy and meet the high demand on halal product and food. This strategy on businesses of all sizes. To that goal, the government has developed several projects, programs, and methods to improve people's well-being. The government has also given significant funds to the departments uh, in charge of reconstructioning the country's economy. For the third program is Halal Technology Transformation Program or HTTP. This is a program that MEDEC has been running in conjunction with SME Cooperation Agency Business. The objective of this program is to increase the production capability of halal product to the transformation of the manufacturing process. This program is one of the government effort in ensuring and assisting entrepreneurs to facilitate business affairs in the halal sector. 
The financing includes negotiation service, supply of machine tools or automation system. The HTTP program is intended to help SME in managing and improve their manufacturing process through the use of system automation. The benefit for this program is help to facilitate entrepreneurs to open halal companies. Target group for this program is to all entrepreneurs. The budget for this program is 1,650,000,000, which are 600,000,000 for raw material processing machine, 100,000,000 for burger meat machine, 900,000,000 for chicken slaughtering machine, and 500,000,000 for transportation. The fourth program is Halal Outreach Program for Entrepreneurs or HOP. The MEDEC program, which are currently being carried out by the SME Corporation Malaysia, aims to advance the development of the halal industry by addressing every point of contact in the ecosystem. MEDEC offers SME help that takes into account several factors of an entrepreneur's demand in the halal business as part of the its actively execute halal development programs. The Halal Outreach Program for Entrepreneurs was established to assist entrepreneurs in overcoming the challenges of obtaining halal certification for the long-term viability of their business. Under this program, Halal Development Officer will assist SME in obtaining halal certification, allow them to reach a large consumer base, enter new markets, and boost consumer confidence. This is because one of the most significant challenges that SME face is a lack of knowledge about the process of obtaining halal certification. The benefit for this program is guidance service on Malaysian halal certification and financing of Malaysian halal certification fees. Target group for this program is to all entrepreneurs and the budget for this program is 105 million which are 35 million for entrepreneurship seminar, 50 million for free entrepreneurship training and 20 million for emergency costs. That's all from me. Thank you and I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you Nabila for your explanation. Assalamualaikum and good afternoon madam and to all of my classmates. I'm the next presenter Mumtaz. So for the goal tree, I'm going to talk about empowering tomorrow's entrepreneurs. If you look at the current situation, the current economic development as well as the reported unemployment rate in the country, the youth are advised to scrap the salary eating mentality or we used to call it uh, as kerja makan gaji and then explore more seriously the field of entrepreneurship as a career of choice. This is because we are not sure when will our country and global economy will recover and open up more job opportunities. So as what we can see in our current economic situation now that has just recovered from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic for two years, thus we may create jobs through the field of entrepreneurship. So in my opinion, the best option for young people right now is to take the risk of exploring entrepreneurship as a profession. Youth need to be brave enough to attempt new things, risk take and work hard to better themselves through their own efforts. The reality is that the world of business is full of opportunity for both personal growth and family development. Why? Because as a business owner, we are our own bosses and employers rather than being bound to any other entity. We are able to operate more freely, set goals and carry out the necessary planning to get better results. Even as entrepreneurs, we may expand the number of jobs available to others. What I would like to share is the majority of business owners nowadays have started to learn how to use online platforms which has shown to increase revenues. Entrepreneurs need to be brave, creative and constantly prepared to make the necessary changes in order to be able to adapt to a variety of situations and scenarios if they want to be successful. The newest technology should be implemented into business models and entrepreneurs are recommended to take the necessary measures to move to digital or e-commerce business models. Of course, you guys know everything since all of you have a smartphone. There are many business owners that promote their products or services on social media, especially on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. And we know that they earn a lot of profits, especially if the product gets popular. Now let's move to the next slide. In order to provide students an introduction to business, the subject of entrepreneurship has now also been added to their coursework. 
In addition, the government makes a number of allocations in an effort to fulfill the aspirations of graduates who desire to join in entrepreneurship. The government prioritizes young people in particular because it believes that by providing them with various services and programs, the unemployment rate in the country will reduce, which will encourage the development of more young entrepreneurs and millionaires. The first program I will explain is the Studentpreneur and Business Apprenticeship Space was established to produce 50 potential new entrepreneurs and train them to successfully acquire increased sales revenue. These new entrepreneurs will be trained within January 2022 until May 2023. As a result, entrepreneurs from IPT and ILKA as well as from the B40 Group and OKU receive direct guidance from this program. So anyway, space provides various advantages and benefits because this program only trains 300 people for the year 2022. After the training period, financial support is also offered, making it highly advantageous, particularly for students from the B40 group who wish to learn the ins and outs of business in further depth. Space is also an entrepreneurship and marketability training program for youth. It forms and guides the youth with the cooperation of industry experts in an effort to produce more entrepreneurs which, is, uh, which are job creators who are competitive and ready for the global market and find skilled workers which, which are uh, the job seekers to meet the needs of the current industry. So uh, in my slide, I have present about the budget allocated for this program that total out 123.2 million ringgit so after we go through to the budget allocated i basically highly recommended to students who are interested in business and who are being a dropship or other entrepreneurial product agent to try this experience anyway for the last program i will present is engine that is an online basic entrepreneurship training program as well as end-to-end -end business coaching to help graduates or youth start low-risk business graduates or youth will then be mentored through an online franchise or pre-franchise business and free business mentoring this program is an initial step for graduates because they need to get out of the negative thinking from being a job seeker that is eating salary to a job creator or job creator by making the field of entrepreneurship as the main choice after graduation presenting about the budget allocated for this program it is 332.2 million for um engine program in a nutshell Entrepreneurial development is one of the most important investment in sense for a country's growth, serving as the foundation of innovation and transformation into a high-income nation. The country will move forward if it has a broad entrepreneurship environment that spans several levels. As a result, with an RM40.23 billion budget to the Ministry of Entrepreneurial Development and Cooperative, various initiatives from MIDAC agencies have been effectively executed. Despite several problems, the business sector, particularly micro, small and medium enterprise SMEs, is important to the country's economic growth. The effective revival of the PMKS sector will undoubtedly contribute to the acceleration of the country's economic recovery business activity. The outlook for the country's economy recovery is likely to improve further as a consequence of the opening of international borders, which boosts local economic activity. MIDEC hopes that funds will be allocated for rehabilitation and this entrepreneurial development can be utilized by all levels entrepreneurs. This provision plays an important role in empowerment the country's economy towards becoming a high-income country by 2025. Uh, that's all from my group and thank you.